All right, hey everybody, welcome back to game three, universe of three against Jackie in the Operation Savannah tournament. We're playing Eastern Lock against his South African Moto. Um, in case you missed the memo, one player always has to play South Africa. Exactly one, actually. No mirror matches allowed in that sense. And uh, I chose to play Eastern Lock. And in case I forgot to mention it in recent videos, the non South Africa deck you pick and you know, the relevant matches. You can't play these decks anymore for the rest of the tournament. But also to repeat the same thing every time. This is meant to be like an ultra serious tournament. So, yeah. Anyway, playing Eastern Lock. Uh, we just gotta survive the opener, honestly. After that, BMP ones and T72s should do a good job of dealing some significant damage. Me playing against Modem is, of course, lots of infantry. But no proper tanks, at least. So... I kind of do want to open, like, relatively helo heavy. Let's try that. Having LCA around the map and the so-called means so we don't really need to open with proper AA, honestly. Uh, M2 will means that we don't get one shot by the Buccaneer, but honestly, Buccaneer is not a huge issue for me at the start. Two M2 Wilk, then one Wilk might actually be a bit too much. There's some nice meat shields. She also needs some recon, dude. Give me five points. I mean, it's a very. It's quite a cheap, like, not cheap opener. Um, low amount of units opener. Position RCV here. But, um, yeah, we're gonna focus on this, try to make him work here. Uh, getting back into here in the long run shouldn't be too difficult, in my eyes. Just have to make sure that our Salamander doesn't get caught up by AA, because all the wield AA, except for the spag, have like 6 HG, so I'm gonna get one shot. So this is actually... Uh, so maybe Salamander is actually not needed, because the Sokol has medium optics, so it spots well enough, like other healers. In which case, I probably should get more stuff for Gregory. So let's get like a T72. It's a uh, Sneshka. Some Silas Nietzsche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I do expect him to do some stuff in Gregory, like play relatively wide. Right in like land the MS17 here, land an MS17. Honestly, probably like here, have the Lekka in there, and then the MS17 at low altitude behind here. That would be the dream. But it's gonna take a bit of time for that to do. Or maybe just unload here and then hover low, in this direction, so it can shoot its rocket pods down the road and not get shot down from this angle. Right, we also have no mortar to start, but it's no issue. We can always just buy it with our first points, given that you know it's a long map and it has long range. Alright. Let's hope this ends in like 30 minutes because I have to leave then. Or should. It's not you know hugely important, but it would be nice. We'll just fly there for now. And unload. Unload. You unload next to the road. You unload here, you unload there. This will be a bit aggressive-ish. Although Cheetah D could really screw us over. Actually then again it's probably only gonna snipe one helo effectively. Like I said, once we stabilize on the front line, I think we should be fine. Also, watch out that if something is trying to fly around here. Wouldn't be the first time that stuff like that happened to me. Let's give shift altitude, because if you unload, then it will automatically also land. I don't want that. Not for that, good. Actually, no, not here. And then get. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. 
I was afraid that this might happen, but I actually, actually got a bit lucky. Come on, hover, hover, start hovering! He didn't start hovering. Those are Easter bugs, they're only simply garbage. Just get like. No, I think actually M2 will might be a better option here. Let's get an MI17. Stop the Royal from like just bum rushing into RCB or something. Don't want that to happen. Let's see if we can. If you survive, that'd be great. They make a lot of boom boom, but they don't actually make a lot of kill kill these Isarax, as you can see. I know, I know, I sound very smart when I say these words. <laughs> uh, feel free to quote me on that. Uh, it's get like, it sounds maybe stupid, but like, this is base defense. One for spotting, one for killing. Keep the smoke up. He do be liking the South African planes, so we gotta make sure that we have that we have protection for our tanks. Get in the bush here. You get in the bush there. I think Neva is gonna be our next buy. Four front armor also, and even two all round armor means that uh, the Cheetah D is actually gonna have trouble killing us. These are probably. Buffaloes. South Sinchi similar to the Burgamak. Pretty high suppression on that thing. Just have a few scattered around. We can stop smoking. Get a bit closer so you don't have to go there. Can. MS-17 did not survive, that is unfortunate, but also not the worst thing, alright. We can smoke this off, if we can walk those Mudschutz in, with the Wilks and BMP-1s, potentially give some great fire support. Great fire support that doesn't fly out the window while I'm driving. Five points if you get the reference. That's wow. so ready to give some fire support. Oh no, get in the bush! But if you get double tap, which you don't because Wilkes don't have the best accuracy, you would die. But once again, they didn't. But you didn't. You definitely need some more stuff on this and on this side, though. Wilk, what is it that you are that you think you are doing? Yeah, dying. That's what you're doing. Jesus Christ! I thought I, had, I apparently only gave one of them the reverse order or whatever. I'm not very smart. And uh, the M2 Wilk also missed. You love to see it. And you missed again. You love to see it. And yeah, at my M2 Wilk getting bullied at max range by an Royal Guard 105. Thank you, you killed something. And now you get sideshot by the buffaloes? Yeah, you did. You did. And I lost my T7. I kinda wanna surrender immediately. 
Mr. Eugen Systems, I don't feel so good. Man, that went from bad to horrible. Okay, but he's he's he's, he's, a bit, he's a bit too aggressive. He's a bit too aggressive here. Oh, one more hit on off the on, from the BP one and it would have died. We killed that at least. AC seventy two here. Shit went down there hard as well. Oh my god, those ferrets. I forgot I had that MS-17 there from the start. Never maybe get in the fucking push. Otherwise you're definitely gonna let me fucking down. Salus Nizi. I think you missed. Get deep into the bush just in case. Yikes, though, that was horrible. <laughs> These tank losses. I got like a what? One Roy cut? I think I got one Roy cut here. And then like one early with the M2 before it died. It's Buffalo, definitely. Definitely doing your work. So SASF. Yeah, I mean, I mean, rocket pots are balanced, by the way. If I sit here, I can't be shot at by that. And again, I don't even need you to sit in there like that. T72, I don't think you're needed there anymore. Let's get you in this. Or maybe you are actually. You lower the lower, okay. Change altitude and then bully that those ferrets. So change altitude and then bully those ferrets. Thanks. That's that's not very nice. You know what? Fuck you. I know it's it's honestly not worth it, but I was just you know if he had microed it and actually reversed it, I might have not gotten it because of my lack of range. So I just didn't want to take a chance there. How dare you sneak around with that? I would never do that, by the way. Obvious joke, of course. Obvious joke. Roy cut in there. Get this. Oh, 12 feet OP. I did not expect that, I have to say. Get back there. Fucking slaves. Do I have an MS-17? No. Uh, I don't have a lasur in his neck. You gun run this. I also don't have a hind. I have Salamandra! But oh, it's a Royka HVM. I got it though, Pog. Don't, 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 don't. You piece. I actually have this there. Let's get a CV. I, know I might be the wrong decision, but I don't want to get him. let him have the early tank. I really don't.
Rest in peace, Pacelny. You did a great job. It was never a better one. Oh, Roycats, you're getting cooked. You are getting cooked. Don't waste this, please. Alright. There's still one. There should still be one left, I think, unless I killed one of the three with something else. I killed two here now. They didn't shoot anything. I don't think the Mochitsen got one either. So I'm a bit confused. I think you might be like good in here. For a second I thought those were incoming villains and I was like, how does he have line of sight? Rearm your cocons, MS seventeen. He has Milan's in there now, how dare he? <laughs> and you lost line of sight. By Bokop. Let's get another one and one work here. That was neat. See. see what we can do with you, Cactus. Interessant. <laughs> I don't know why he said that. It's interesting, but. Rata 20. The dead elf, it's a li alive alpha. Okay, don't drive into those parabats, please. I'd like to fire like in here. We have some decent splash damage. Chances are it's actually good. Okay, drive up there, Rattle 20 are coming down. Up there, you get in this direction, Salamantra, you're reloaded, but there's an AP stairs, so I don't wanna really take the chance. Come on, please, Bok up, miss. What are you shoot? Oh, the MS 17 is actually in range. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I didn't think of that being in range there. So much might be. Dude, you're taking your sweetest time to get down there, my, my dude. You know what we're gonna get? We're gonna get this son of a gun. Drive, drive, drive. Back, drop in there. Supply you. Buy me, choose me, squeeze me. Kill me. You're supposed to like, not get cooked by those Parabats because they have MBP1s behind. Apparently, you did not get the memo. Plus, you don't want to stand still because he has mortar. And he does, he's not afraid to use them aggressively. I have. Okay. Okay. Just go back. You're spotted. Mark 1 Bs. They're not too bad tanks. Ignore what I said. Solid hit. One more hit and then you're gonna reverse.
Let's get, some, let's get a Snashka here. Where's that Salamandra? There. Tough to really use the Salamandra aggressively because Cactus here and presumably an HVM. Um, given the given how early it shot it out of Syria, I don't think that was the Cactus we spotted here. Also unlikely that he like rerouted it across the whole map. That nice minion you have there would be a shame if someone fucking artillery them. I don't think that RM70 is really gonna get it, but... I'm gonna be aggressive with CVs here. If the game is stalemate-y, stalemate-ish, whatever you wanna call it, it can be tough to come back from a conquest point deficit. Plus he has like more or less full control of, over Elena, so... Yeah. Just do like a quick... What's your autonomy? You have pretty good autonomy. Let's do like a quick back and forth in case you spot something. I don't expect this to really kill anything, but... It was quite a Hail Mary. I was like, might as well give it a try, right? Let's also get like... Uh... Oh my god! That was anything but expected. LSTR squad and a Hypnarit there. Yeah, and you're spotted, of course. I mean, and I don't really mean this sarcastically. It makes complete sense that, you, that they're spotted. Just hope the HVM is not in this area here. He kept center, that's fine. Speaking of, honestly, I think the right oh shit, right call would be to. There's the HVM. Come on, fuck me! I didn't expect it to be there. Ugh. Yeah, and that's that six HP that really, really hurts the Salamandra. <sighs> really annoying because those two recon records I would really like to kill. Don't show your side there. Yeah, that's where they are. But they're too, they're too damn fucking fast. I'll not be able to catch them with this wheel here. Stop moving. I think I will need to have like another thing, just stationed here, another salamandra. A bit closer. There are 80 points, which isn't too expensive, but it's like 80 points, 65 points lost to that nice. Um, Thing. You hate to see it, of course. Hate to see it. How does it go? I hate to see you go, but I love to see you leave. Something like that. Is it a song or anything? I don't know. Some weird reference that popped into my mind. Ignore my, ignore my rambling. To the best of your abilities. By now, they're probably like up there or some shit. Fuck. Probably shouldn't. Let's try to move you across there after all, I guess. Get you a bit further up there. Some waters. Probably trying to gun a better with my arm 70 now. No? What do they do there? I actually want to try to. I'm gonna buy an MS 17 just preemptively. It's also just good to have, right? And unlike ground units, if I have it. Okay, you're spotted. You fired, apparently. If I have it up here, like I can easily reroute it to somewhere else where I might need it if, if it's unneeded here. Could also just be like a diversion. It could be anything but the spanging position, because otherwise I wouldn't expect it. Right? And a Valkyrie! Does he expect me to have some serious shit there or what? Let's fire another. Maybe we probably just fire in there. Let's get two of you. Some of you going. To watch it soon. 
No, I want these season needles to get. No, fuck me, dude. There you go. I think I'm gonna leave here. I'm 17, Rhea, go up there. Not getting a lot of value out of our farm. Let's get you. There. There they are, these fuckers. There's, there you are, you invisible cunt. Two points if you get that reference. Although it's a very, very. Sh most people will know the reference, I think. You know? Maybe not most, but a lot of people. It's not a very. Niche reference. Go for this. This might be an SASF squad, something like that. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, they I briefly lost line of sight on this such. Oh, he assaults me. Oh, you're walking closer. Instead of running away. Luckily, they're panicked because of my earlier. I'm on a wrist strike. Buccaneer. Oh no, you can't. You don't, you don't need to have a gun. You couldn't even try to gun run me. I forgot. I forbore. Whatever that meme is. I don't, I, never, I don't even understand that one. I only know it's accompanied by a skeleton for some reason. Don't overdo it. And you also don't overdo it. And I got a hidden, and he's evac Nice. Oh, why? Oh, why? <sighs> Those are part about 90s. They hurt like a truck, but not if they only got one miss, one shot off before, before I got myself off. Oh, while you're back there, you might as well shoot here. Dang. Dang. Because given how long it takes for them to reload, oh, I bet you didn't expect LCR there, bitch. I, I don't, I don't actually, you know, want to be rude to him. He's, he's a nice guy, in in the best way possible. I can <laughs> literally no issue with him. Come on, can I actually shoot my? Oh, my never is shooting! Hell yeah! And it missed. Bam, but the, but the MiG-29 proved why having 4 HE on your manpads for Red 4, or, you know, quite some decks, it's just no issue because 6 HE on, on you no know, missile like that, or you know, my AA, means that having only 4 HE is just completely irrelevant. And the extra range is so much more valuable compared to something like the Stinger. Come on, get up there, get up there. Move your ass. I wanna get this. Because I do not like the Roycat ZA HVM thingy magic. When you can tank that, you can tank that and, and kill him. Yeah, I knew it. I've always believed in you. You worthless son of a gun. Let's get the RASF out again. No. Either it's, and I was gonna say Entweder, which is the German word of either. Oh, I was gonna say either it's empty or micro, and it's been micro. It's already veterans, so it's probably gonna kill us. Oh, we got lucky. You're actually quite low on HP. It's three army before you die. And before it dies now. Didn't. Nice. Good. Uh, Arm 70. Iron there once more. Oh, that's a, that's a cactus. The mantra. Let's get a CV going for the side. Hope it doesn't get intercepted by like some Roy cut in the flanks. Water you, move up with you, resupply you. Oh, there, there is the other Roycon. Gotcha, bitch. Fast move you down there. It's with you, cross with you. Screw you, Malutka. Oh, 
GG. Nice, and I'm not gonna be late. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. One out of all the three, definitely the better map for South Africa. But um, I think the main issue with South Africa, it is not too bad of a deck, but it is so much weaker if you know beforehand you're going up against it. In ranked, if you when you never when you can never be certain what you're up against, it is so much more difficult because being a bit too unprepared for South Africa and can completely roll you over. But being able to prepare for for South Africa, that's where it struggles. That's already sort of the case with like rush type of decks like motorize or airborne. But I think especially with South Africa, you notice it the most. All right, glad I didn't surrender, but like it's not like it matters too much. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Blah 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 blah. I gotta go. See you later.